Good morning everyone! Uh, did you enjoy your weekend? It's a very beautiful Monday. Medyo malamig dito sa amin ngayon kasi umulan kanina. Um, it's a very beautiful day. Um, market PSEI. Um, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, let me just double check if everything is okay. Ayan, um, PSEI somehow is recovering. Um, stabilizing right now si PSEI and RSI is somehow showing us that it's starting to uh, show bullish sign, right? Signs. Yan. Um, so PSEI, we're gonna talk about that. Good morning everyone and good morning Laika. Ang topic natin ngayon is about jockey plays. I hope um, nakikita niyo naman ngayon. Uh, I hope everything is okay. Yan. Yan. So we're gonna be talking about jockey plays. Um, tawag niyan. Uh, how to spot it or, and then how to, or what it is, how to spot it, and um, how do you take advantage of it, and how do you protect yourself from it, right? So, yeah, we're gonna be talking about that in a while. All right, this video is a recorded video, and this is live. Um, so if you went, if you're here for the replay, if replay na pinapanood din yo, just move the ano, just move the what do you call this? Um, just forward the video to 25 minutes and the discussion should start there right so that's that's around 8 40 in the morning here so then again yeah um basahin ko muna ang mga comments ninyo before we start our topic for today right so rodrigo calios ikaw yung nauna good morning right joely garis good morning sir lord in laika good morning and day alcaide good morning and these are my students and nauna sila and they're still watching the daily grind also and jason good morning mona lisa idol thank you um dexter hansel magandang umaga sir lord good morning din sa inyo jovita nael rain jayo Addison C, good morning. Jason, si Food Dao. I, I checked out Food yesterday, I, I, a while ago. Nag-break siya na supportive. But we'll talk about that. I'll write that down. If you have any requests na i-chart natin, that pwede natin tingnan today. Um, let's talk about that. Um, just put it in the comments, right? Um, Arvin and Ligido, nga pala guys, please share the video. The video just started. So, please share the video para, uh, what they call this, para mas maraming pang mga newbies ang makakaalam ng program na ito. Right. Good morning, Alvin Elegido Shed, Sheila Bulanadi. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and family. Good morning to you too and your family too. Um, Jason IRC. Yeah, and IRC somehow is looking good already since we recommended it. Yeah, and so IRC is still there. Um, Relic, Relics Lyrics. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. MRC and MPI. MRC is still there um, uh, on my picks. MPI, let's talk about that in a while. Um, it's a good company, right? Kaso nga lang, market is really down. So, somehow, uh, MPI is um, consolidating na. Albar Nido, maayong buntag, sir. Maini, mamainit ta. Yan, mamainit. Hindi pa ako nagbe-breakfast. Sir. After this, mamainit sa ako. Right? Uni Nani, good morning, sir Lloyd. PHA, food, and IRC. PHA is still there on my picks. Food is there. IRC. Ayan, andyan na nakasulat na si IRC. Grace Soriano, good morning Sir Lloyd and everyone. Have have a blessed day ahead. Nga pala guys, if you are wondering saan ko nilalagay yung recommendations ko every day, I have a website. Pwede nyo makita dito. Um, just go to, what they call this? Ayan. I'm gonna share my screen. Alright, so just go to financialfreedom101.co and then go to the daily grind. And dito sa so the daily grind pag pumasok agent sa daily grind makikita ninyo diyan yung mga comments ko whenever before the program starts right so andiyan yan daily rec recommendations for today so today makikita nyo um andiyan pa yung bagger picks ko we'll talk about them again in a while position picks for today are here and so SSI tindin ang laki ng panalo ni SSI last ano uh, last uh, Friday. So, but we're gonna still talk about SSI today. Congratulations sa so, mga pumasok sa SSI. Noong nirecommend ko yan. Tagal-tagal ko nirecommend nirecommend yan, ba? Si SSI. Brilliant Encore. Um, yan. Sir Lloyd, good morning. And Laika. SSI, STI, and PLC, please. STI and PLC. Uy, si STI is looking good. Um, I just 
really want um just don't really want to recommend I did it right STI right now kasi sobrang exaggerated ng galaw niya baka bumaba pa but price action of MPI uh, STI is good we'll talk about that all right sulat ko lang si STI and sino nga ba yan um STI and PLC and si PLC PLC has been holding on to, to the support so that's okay let's talk about that in a while Rodrigo Carlos sir CLC ako Ako pala yun, yung una, ha? yes. Um, CLC, yun, yes, CLC, may maganda na namang news. Ang problema kasi sa CLC is, yes, they have very big investments. The problem is, you won't see the numbers yet. Yeah, kaya nahihirapan na umakit sa si CLC, kaya bumabagsak si CLC, especially sa British market. Um, ang foreign, foreign, foreign investors kasi tinitignan nila yung numbers, right? CLC has been dumping out money because of, investments right nag invest sila sa mga barko mahal yan plus barko ang tagal ang ang ROI yan it can take years or 2 to 3 years pang long term na invest ng kasi yung barko eh. so yeah um CLC is something you look at in the long term hindi for trading talaga kasi you won't see it in the numbers yet but once these um uh these uh these boats will uh these ships will start ano start um cashing in their money you're gonna see the numbers and then uakit niyan so CLC is something for long term uh, but still we'll check out CLC's chart right um CLC um Sheila Bulanadi SMPH AP and ALI uy mga blue chips AP is in my um picks naman eh. so yeah um kumusta hay natin sila ali din and smph rex hardinero good morning po sir lord and like god bless po god bless you too thank you sir rex um let me just double check your audio yes um clc yun si clc may mag yun so yun very i'm just gonna go near my microphone para hindi ganong hindi ko kailangan ilakasan ng bosses ko pina lalalim ang bosses ko si parang si thor <laughs> yan armando rosal good morning sir or now ism and meg or now ism and meg si or the fundamentals of this company is getting better and better so yan uh, meron akong andyan si or lagi sa um picks ko um we'll talk about now ism and Meg, yan, tingnan natin. Uy, si ISM. So, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be adding ISM again today. Um, Nag-recover na si ISM. Eh. So, let me just um edit my picks again. And then, I'm gonna be adding ISM. Kasi, ang ganda na ni ISM. Eh. Alright, Gilbert Velas, good morning, Sir Lloyd. CPG and ABA. We're gonna be talking about CPG and ABA. Kasi, may magandang disclosure si CPG mamaya. Eh. CPG is one of my uh, possible bagger picks. Pati yan si Aba, syempre. So, we'll talk about that in a while. Oh, Phantom Vlogging, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good sign po ba kay PXP? Sorry, crypto pa yung tanong ko. XRP, yeah. Um, let's check out XRP in a while, right? Um, pwede rin natin pag, uh, pag-usapan yan. Alright, again guys, a uh, little request um, sa mga watchers natin ngayon. Um, I, I have a little favor. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Um, also, please share the video to your Facebook walls. That will help Financial Freedom 101 in return. And also, that will help, <clears throat> what do you call this? That will help uh, with uh, the program's goal na to invite more Filipinos to start ano, to start investing in the stock market. Let them, uh, let show them that you're into stock market so that this can, ano, um, this can uh, spark their curiosity also what the stock market is. We need more investors and of course, if they will invest, at least uh, makakatulong din sa kanila, right? They start investing also. Especially now that the market is down. So, napakagandang timing mag-start ng investing na yun. Um, oh, phantom blogging. <clears throat> Asan ako? Um, Perla Roberta, good morning, Sir Lloyd. MRC po. Thanks, MRC is there. Andiyan naman sa lista yan lagi si MRC. Erica Liwa, good morning, MRC. MRC then, alright. Um, Roy Mina, good morning, Sir Lloyd. From Korea, ABS and MP. Ay, very good question. ABS, so one of the undervalued stocks right now. And ganda naman si ABS pasukin eh. Very undervalued. Um, MPI, yan, so... Uh, sulat natin yan Eugene De La Cruz good morning JR Food MRC ISM Sir si Food MRC and ISM is there so pag-usapan natin yung mamaya Ped Ayan Sir Lloyd magandang umaga ano po nangyari kay JFC JFC um, eh, it's just that the market is red ano po nangyari kay JFC it's uh, the market is red but we are now at its support level so pa- baka mag double bottom so uh, if you're into JFC <clears throat> oh, look 
to ano look to what you call this look to average down right uh, or buy more right? keep buying more kay JFC habang mura pa siya right because anytime soon when the market uh, when the bullish market comes in you're gonna be at a very good position at marami ang mas marami ang volume mo mas marami kang nabili na stocks di ba so once it moves up mas madali mag recover and mas malaki ang kikitain mo right so JFC that's for investors Right. Mona Lisa, Idol, good morning. Pinanood ko yung Bollinger Bands nyo. Ngayon ko lang din nakita ang channel mo. Nag-subscribe naman din ako sa'yo last week. Yeah, it's a, thank you so much. Right? For those, Mona Lisa, thank you. For those who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. Annaline, good morning. Um, CEI, sir, thanks. All right, uh, let's talk about CEI. Uh, CEI has been showing us good movements lately. So, na hindi nagsusustain na. Right, CEI. Um, good morning, sir. Popey, ATN po. Please, thanks. Yeah, ATN is in my list today because we have a, uh, we have a bounce from ATN. Um, hindi siya bounce. Um, price action wise, nag, nag start nag stabilize na naman siya. So that's the uh, retracement that we we are looking for. Um, sino nga ba yon? Popey, yan. Yan si Popey. Sulat natin si Popey. Right, Popey, um, Al Barnido, sir, any news kay now? Si now naman, uh, we'll talk about now also. Not really news kay now, don't really have any further news kay now. But yeah, tingnan natin, kamustahin natin si now. Um, now has been very aggressive in their third telco bid. Right? They've been saying, kahit si, si Mr. Velarde is saying that if ever hindi sila mapili na third telco, they're still gonna be a winner because yeah, they will have access to technology plus they will have the funds to expand their business. So now is still also very good. Kaso nga lang, it, this is speculative. Ha? So we'll talk about now in a while. Ano pa din gawin natin dyan? Right, General, Gerald Mel Alvaran. Ayan. Good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Good morning. God bless. Um, MRC or and PHA PHA Pusser. Thank you, po. You're welcome. I'll talk about that. Good morning, Sir Lloyd from Genesis Suriaga. Hops Vita, sir. I'll write it down. Vita. Vita. Alright. Elvin Aligido LR, sir. Ayan, si LR. Uy, si LR. Um, konti ingat muna kay LR kasi nag-spike down siya last Friday. So, let's see what will happen to, with LR. Check natin mamaya din um, chart ni LR, right? Um, Gray Soriano, Ali, and Meg. Um, Meg is in my list today. Ayan, so, kasi nag-confirmation ng retracement na si... Meg, right? We'll talk about that in a while. Um, Annelin, regarding eToro, are there additional charges if you use credit cards for funding? I haven't, um, wala naman ako nakita na charge if when, on my credit card. Kung magkano yung, para siyang payment eh, para, para ka nag-online payment to eToro. Uh, so, when you open, uh, when you pay them, ganun din. Um, whatever the amount is, you're gonna be depositing with them. Yun din. Um, I don't know with your credit card if my charges, if ever, pero so far, wala naman ako nakita on my end eh. Right, Rodrigo Carlos, um, morning. Um, Hani Kabigting, morning, co Sir co oh, co Coach, Sir Coach Tuloy, Coach and Laika. Good morning, then Hani. Um, La Vulcan Food and PXP. And well, let's talk about PXP today. PXP and Vulcan. Yes, so Vulcan. Marami ko natatanggap na question lately kay Vulcan. Eh. Um, people are starting uh, day one invest in Vulcan. Uh, guys, that's speculative, okay? So, konti ingat dyan. We'll talk about that. Genesis Suriaga, kailan ang launching ng short sell sa PSEI, Sir Lloyd? Um, they say, uh, they said last quarter for this year. And we're already in the last quarter. So, hopefully soon. Hindi <laughs> ko lang alam kailan talaga. Um, Darwin, no, no, nag-aabang din ako, right? Especially in this bearish market. That short selling is gonna be affecting the market so much that uh, magsa-stabilize yung mga bumabagsak ng mga stocks na yan. Kasi um, kikita na mga, mga tao habang bumabagsak. Eh. So, more, more or less magsa-stabilize yan. Babagal na ang galaw ng PSEI. Which is good, right? Um, I really like if PSEI yeah, will stabilize kasi hindi na siya volatile and you can um, you can watch the your losses properly hindi ni biglang bumabagsak or ano uh, para makapagkat loss sa mga tao di ba so yan um bull and bear good day everyone um darwin odo from Jeda, yan. Good morning sa inyo mga kapatid natin, mga OFWs especially, and dyan sa Jeda, mabuhay po kayo. Um, Bull and Bear, good day. Ben Mua, may buntag sa tanan. Happy Monday to us. Good morning to our healthy, uh, 
to our healthier sirloin. Thank you so much. Lalamunan is good, yeah. Um, really not easy to speak. Um, yung tuloy-tuloy, yeah. Kaya nga, yung mga newscasters, may mga, ano, may mga breaks, ganun. But yeah, we can't afford breaks. Kasi, um, sayang yung oras, eh, diba? So, yun. Um, Jmark Bayon on. Good morning sa lahat. Nga pala, if you want, if you're considering helping the channel, just send me a message para if you if you wanna donate, um, I can give you my accounts para um, matulungan niyo po ako magpat, mapatuloy itong financial, uh, itong daily grind and especially the channel, right? Manilin Singh. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Poopy Food and JFC. Yeah, nasa lista na sila. String Trader Trans, Sir Lloyd. Great Monday morning po. Pasuyo, si SSI. Yun, si SSI. Hindi pa kayo pumapasok kay SSI. Ang tagal ko na nire-recommend yan. Nag-breakout si SSI. So, that's good. Alright. So, congratulations sa mga pumasok noon kay SSI. They've already been winning. IRC and Vulcan. Yan. Us, na, nakasulat na yan. Um, brilliant Anchor. Sir Lloyd, ano pong ka- kaibahan ng bagger and position picks? Yung baggers kasi, um, I don't really know if when they are gonna be moving. Because these stocks have been stagnant for how many, uh, for for a while, right? So, um, bagger picks, I have uh, strong conviction in them to really get in. And this is not really for um, yung mga gustong kumita ka agad because I don't really know if this is gonna go up right away or not, right? Like CPG, like or I just know that the fundamentals of this company is starting to go big. So these are kind of midterm picks. Hindi siya for swing talaga na sang akyat and baba, benta ka na, right? So this is so mid, mid, midterm pick mga can, six months or a year. Malasa ganyan. Right, so that's the ano, th- those are the bagger picks. I can't really tell you kung gagalaw sila ka agad. Um, the position picks that I have, these are the swing trades really na yung mga galaw ang papasukin ninyo. And these are the very good positions that I can find. Right? So, yun. Um, the, that, that's the difference between those two. Um, medyo long term yung mga bagger picks na yan. So, like me, I'm a swing trader. Di naman ako talagang nag, ah, ano talaga, nag, 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 nag trade talaga intraday. But I still monitor the market. I, I still watch my positions every now and then. Right? Um, brilliant Encore. Yun, yun, yun yung tanong niya. Um, CM Jaime, kasi meron kasi ano eh, meron kasi mga tao na gusto yung mga mas mabilis gumalaw. Um, I've, I've even I've seen people in my chat room uh, na binabash ang or kasi mabagal daw yes because these uh CPG mabagal daw yeah because these stocks are <laughs> ano yan upuan pa yan eh these uh, hindi pa sila known talaga to everyone not not so many people about them and I'm still sharing the fundamentals of the companies and then hindi pa siya talaga um, even on the foreign investors hindi pa nila alam yung mga yung mga yan so hindi pa yan gagalaw kaagad unlike the other stocks na kilala na ng iba uh, ng foreign mga in, na mga investors na gumagalaw kaagad right yan um yan so yan CM hi may good morning um Chad Rosal sir IDC po eh, I'll, I'll write down IDC si IDC Medyo nag-break ng support eh. But we're still at support area. So, the risk is still tolerable. Steve Gordon, um, Eduardo Arcoy. Good morning, uh, Steve Gordon. Sir Lloyd, MWC, please. And that, um, just last week, I've been looking at MWC kasi I, um, I'm seeing an uptrend. And nag-uptrend nga, diba? So, we'll talk about M- uh, MWC now. Um, Eduardo Arcoy, Sir Lloyd, Expo. Ayan. Pag-usapan natin ang ex natin. <laughs> Eduardo Arcoy. Um, Henson Birosel, good morning. Sir, good morning then. Antonio de la Cruz, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Antonio is asking about RLC and IRC, please. Um, IRC, RLC is in my pick right now kasi ang ganda ng recovery ni RLC. Um, we are at a low risk position na. Right? Christina Nicoleta, okay pa bu- bu- okay po ba? Bounce ni or sa Fibo. Alright, let's talk about that in a while. Si or and it's Fibo. Alright, Fibonacci. Alright, Fibo. Yeah, let's talk about that. So yeah, um, it's 8.37. So I guess we'll have to start our discussion now. So we're going to be talking about PSEI. Also, what are jockey plays and how do you take advantage of it? And how do you protect yourself? When and when not to get into them, right? What are what are the possible things jockeys can do diba so yan um so we'll we'll talk about that in a while um 
Yan. Before we start with the discussion, we want to uh, ch- uh, we want to thank our sponsors, um, Two Trade Asia, and they've been helping us in the program. They've been ven- um, they've been very generous, and ayan, um, if you're looking for a good broker, Two Trade Asia is something you might want to check. But you can always create a free account para matesting niyo. Go to twotradeasia.com. Um, if you're looking for a broker na is fast, reliable, and can let you trade anytime, anywhere you want to, to trade Asia is something you might want uh, ano, you might wanna uh, consider. Kasi ang ganda ng mobile app nila, um, mabilis. And then you just uh, if you go out, um, all you need is internet. At kahit nasa labas kayo, makakabili kayo at makakabenta. Right? Um, Engineer MMI, good morning Sir Lloyd. Good morning then And Kaida Merindo, yan, good morning. So yeah, let's start. Um, first is, what are jockey plays and how do you take advantage of it? And sa ganito kasi yan, jockey plays are yung mga ano eh, um, there are people who are called jockeys. These are people who has large amounts of money in their, ano, uh, large amounts of money in their buying power, right? Million, um, billions, uh, millions, nga, di ba? So, if they get in a stock na maganda ang position and then they put in a large amount, it's gonna be attracting more investors and then aakit yan and then bigla silang lalabas and then, yun, know, take advantage na sila. So, they usually do this in low-risk positions. Yeah. So, what do you really want to do in a, ano, in a, during jockey plays, right? So, number one, um, uh, jockey plays lang muna. Um, yun, um, it can be an individual, um, an institution, or a, ano, or a, what they call this, or a group of people, right? Meron kasi mga chat rooms na nagja-jockey plays, right? They're doing that. If 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 their leader says buy this, and they're gonna be entering the stock at this volume, uh, at this at this at this price, and then yun sabay sila sabay sila sabay sila silang papasok and sabay sila silang lalabas. This is again to create volume and to have the price increase all of a sudden, and then yun chuchupit lang yun sila. So speaking of chupit, these position uh, these movements are intraday trading, right? Um, they just go in and then they get out right away. They just want to make the stock go up. And then once it starts going up, marami kasi ma-attract, especially newbies. Yun yung problema. Kasi marami newbies ang naluloko dyan. Right? So, konti ingat dyan. I can't really call it cheating. Somehow it is. But, yeah, that's the, that's the nature of the market. The problem really is that the newbies are the most affected. And ito kasi, yeah, the stock market is a process of transferring money from the impatient to the patient. Right? Jockey place, if may nakikita kayong stock dyan na umaakyat at sasabayan ninyo. Sumasabay ka, meaning you have to be a momentum trader. Momentum trader, usually, you have to watch the market full time. If you see weakness, then benta ka na kaagad. Do not overcommit to the stock. So, um, Yan, um those are the ano, those are the methods on how to spot it really. Um so una lang muna is really sino ang mga ito? Um institutions. How how can an institution um jockey, right? Yun una natin discuss natin. So institutions, I've seen this firsthand, right? Um I went to an institution, hindi ko lang papangalanan, but kasi nagpaturo ako on how to trade. And he, sh- he showed me how can institutions manipulate the market. They have this power because institution has almost two unlimited funds. Napakalaki ng pera na hawak ng mga yan. So, what they can do is they can send out false orders. Um, tawag nito, forget the name, but what they do is ganito. For example, if they want the stock to go up, they're going to create a buying pressure. How do they do that? Um, for example, the price is at 1.0 at nasa support ba siya? 1.0. What these people are gonna do is they're gonna create a buying pressure at around 1.97, 1.98 and ang lalagay nila is napakalaking buying at those areas. Right? This, this is so that kasi malaki ang buying nila doon. Yung mga players or yung mga retailers, yung mga buyers na gustong bumili ng stock, may, kasi may nakita silang order doon na mak- napakalaki. For example, one, um, 1 million stocks 
ang 1 million stocks ang bibilhin nila, gusto nilang bilhin. Uy, number one effect niyan is, ang mga tao, may makikita sila na, uy, may nagkaka-interes sa stock na ito. Pag, bumi- pag maraming tao, and then, I mean, pag maraming pulipi- pumipila, syempre, ang t- tingin sa mga tao is, uy, in demand itong stock na ito, papasok din ako nito. Right, so that's number one, if in yung unang effect, may malaking volume na demand. Now, number two effect niyan is, kasi may isang million na stocks na buying dyan, if ever I want to buy the stock, at pipila ako sa likod ng 1 million, di ba? For example, one, one point, uh, point 0.98 ang order niya. Kung pipila ako sa 0.98, malamang hindi ako makakapasok kasi ang laki ng harang nun, di ba? And then also, if I go lower, 0.97, 0.96, more or less hindi na ako makakapasok kasi ang laki ng nakauna sa akin, di ba? So what that does is it creates a buying pressure na kasi ako, maliit lang ako ng player, hindi, ako kaya, hindi ko kayang bumili ng malaki, So, to get past this person na napakalaki ng buying, I have to bid higher than him. Right? So, that's the uh, buying pressure that it creates. So, kasi if I have to bid higher than him, at saka yung iba, maraming magbibid ng higher. So, that's when, the, what, that's when people start to go in and go in and then that pushes the stock up. Kasi mas marami pang demand na, demand na mas mataas, mas mauubos yung mga nagbibenta. At, uh, the, at the around that level. So, once andan, andyan na yung buying pressure, umaakit na stock, I mean, and then, this com- this institution is just gonna remove yung, ano, y- remove their, ano, remove the uh, order that they have. And, yun, nakakreate sila ng buying pressure at kumita sila. Now, these people, sa isang million, they, um, usually, they create that, uh, they create that pressure kasi nakapasok na sila sa baba. For example, one, point, uh, 1.0 create nila na pressure. Right? So, um, more or less, nakapasok na yan sila sa mga 0.97, 0.98. Right? And then, they're, they're gonna create a pressure to for it to go up. Remember, in 1 million, sa 1 million pesos na pinasok po, 1% is 10,000 pesos. What if the stock goes up 2%, 3%? Usually, 3%, 4%, 5%. bas na yung mga yan. At pag lumabas na yung mga yan, may nakikita kayo, may, may namabantay yun ba kayo na pag umabot ng 5% ang isang stock, bumabagsak. Kasi yung mga institutions nag-create ng buying pressure dyan. So that's one of the, these things. After mga 5%, they're gonna be exiting. And then when people see the exits, yan, bumabagsak ang stock. At least naka 5% nila sa 5% is a lot to them. Sa 1 million lang na pinasok nila sa stock, they already gained 50,000 pesos with that uh, 5% gain. And then, saan galing yung 50,000 na kinita nila? Sa mga newbies na pumasok sa stock. Then, they're gonna go out and then usually the stock goes back down to support. So, that's one, uh, that's the buying pressure the jockey plays, players can do. Um, they can also create a selling pressure. Right? A selling pressure. Usually, pag nasa stock na sila and they want na, um, they want the stock na bumaba pa kasi they want to buy more. Yung mga nakapasok na baka magbentahan, gusto nila magbentahan kasi they want to get in. Usually, these people has information about the companies, first-hand information, mga insiders. They're very good research. And then, pag tumaas na yung stock na yan, uh, they want it to go down further so that they can buy more. What they do is they create a selling pressure. Um, opposite naman ito sa buying pressure na ginawa nila. Since may hawak na sila ng stock and they want to buy more, Um, they're gonna be um, once the stock goes up around 3%, 4%. Um, so for example, nasa 1.0 na ang stock, and they wanna go let uh, they wanna lower it to 0.98, 0.97, kasi gusto pa nilang bumili na na naman. So what they're gonna do is, may ramis lang hawak na stock. What they do is, if it's at 1.0, they're gonna be selling their stock. For example, at around 1.02. At napakarami na ibibenta nila. Papakita nila sa mga tao yan. Papakita nila yan to create a selling pressure. Right? And purpose yan is pag nakita ng mga tao, wala, nag, nagbebenta na sila. Nang, nagbebenta na sila ng stock. Magbenta na rin ako. Unahan ko ito. Kasi may magbebenta ng 1 million stock sa taas. So, ang ako, kung magbebenta ako ng 1 point, uh, bebenta nila 1.02, hindi ko pwede ibenta 1.03, ang laki ng harang, di ba? So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sell it at a lower price, 1.01. Yan, sa so mga tao, kasi 1.02 linagay ng jockey. 
At malaki yun, malaking harang yun. If they're gonna put 1.02, nasa likod sila ng jockey, so they won't be able to sell. Mauna yung jockey, di ba? So what they're gonna do is, they will sell it at 1.01. And then, people will start selling it at 1.01. Yung iba naman, nakikita na lang, ang dami ng order sa 1.01. Ako is 1.0 ko ibebenta, and then the price goes back down. The jockey is gonna be canceling his order, and then they're gonna be buying more sa baba. Right, because these are what jockeys can do. Right, that's the sad thing about PSE, because na pakalit lang ng ano natin, na pakalit lang ng volume talaga ng PSE. So we're really affected by ano, we really we really can be affected by jockey plays. Is ayon. That's the institution. Others are individuals. What they can do also is pump and dump. Um, what they're gonna do is they're gonna be buying the stock. Right, bili sila nito. For example, yung stock is one point zero. Bilis na 1.0 and then may nagbebenta ba 1.0. They're gonna be set, buying again, buying and buying and buying and buying and then, yun, um, hanggang sa makita ng mga tao na ang laki ng volume ng stock na ito, ang daming buying, right? Biglang aakit yung stock na yan because of them. Kasi binibili nila yung mga available. Other people are gonna be seeing that move. Uy, itong stock na ito, nag-rally, is bullish today. They can see the chart na umaangat, na umaangat, na umaangat. So, people, especially newbies, since na fufomo ang mga newbies, they're gonna be going into that stock also, and then people are gonna be hyping it, so papasok sila sa stock niyan, kasi mga kisabay sila. Problem is that na may na unang jacky sa inyo, so pag akyat niyan and then akyat niyan kahit lang two percent, three percent, four percent, five percent lang yung akyat niyan. Once they sell out, they already earn a lot, right? So this is what these jackies can do. They can do pump and dumps. Pump and dumps is nakikita niyo yung ano? Nakikita niyo yung Costco biglang umaakyat yung mga yung mga ganon yung sila Bicor biglang umaakyat na stock hindi um wala ako na pansin um meron ako na papansin na mga um what they call this na mga tawag nyan na mga pump and dump place ngayon but doesn't really sustain kasi konti lang naman ang mga tao ngayon sa ano konti lang mga 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 tao sa nagte-trade ngayon. Especially in a bearish market, I don't really recommend trading on a bearish market. I've seen I've seen, I've told this to you many times na on a bearish market, ang laki ng tendency na matalo ka kasi hindi nagsusustain yung stocks. But anyways, yes. That's pump and dump. Um also 'yan, 'yun yung pwede lang gawin. Pataasin lang yung stock bigla to get to gather attention and then once it gathers attention, yung pa na advertise nila yan. Maraming pa, taong papasok and then pabagsak yan bigla kasi mag exit yung mga yan. Yung mga nag-jockey yan. Alala nyo si Bicor. Um, tinuturo ko ito sa workshop ko ito. Uh, yung pump and dump. Um, pump and dump usually happens for two days. Right? First pump nila to get attention. Second pump to get more attention. And then once they see that it's already enough, they're gonna be selling their stocks. Yan. Nakita nyo si Bicor biglang biglang bumulusok ng ganon kasi na pump and dump yun. Especially on stocks na fundamentally good and then nasa support pa naman. So, they're gonna be um, uh, pumping it para umakyat. So, konti ingat dyan. So, these are the, uh, these are what jockeys can do in the market. And I've seen this firsthand. They can do this. Right? Napaka-easy na. Um, the third people who can do this is uh, a group of people pwede in a chat room uh, Pwede silang gumawa nito. Baka sabihin nila, Uy, sabay tayo pasok-pasok dito. And, yan. And then, sasabay silang lahat. Magbibili sila on the same, as much as possible on the same price range. Right? And then, they're, they're gonna be uh, synchronized to say, sell tayo nito. Magbibentahan yung mga yan. Right? So, yes, that's, that's, that's the jockey place. Now, what do you do with this? Right? Paano mo matatake advantage nito at how are you gonna protect yourself from these kinds of plays? Number one is, jockey plays, biglang akyat yan. For the, from the word biglang akyat, at sasabayan mo. That means you are riding the momentum. So you, at that time, are a momentum trader. Your strategy should be momentum trading. And if you're momentum trading, you should be able to watch the market full time. That's rule number one. Pwede mong sabayan ang mga ito. Right? Kaya mo yan. As long as you can watch the market full time. Hindi yung distracted ka. Only do this if you can watch the market full time. Why? Because if, if you see a weakness, dapat 
before magkabuhusan, benta na kayo. Right? What if hindi mo mapapuno ng market? What if nalinga ka at nanood ka ng anime for 5 minutes? Right? And then pagtingin mo sa stock, bumagsak na. Yun yung problema. So number one, defense ninyo, if you wanna ride this, remember you are doing momentum trading. At pag momentum trading, you have to watch the market full time para kung magkabusan man, makaka-exit ka. Right? That's rule number one. Always watch the market. Number two is, you know how to execute well. Alam mo paano magbenta na mabilis. Right? You have to know how to sell right away. Right? Tinuturo ko yan naman yan sa workshop. Speaking of workshop, uh, mamaya na yan. Um, <laughs> right? So, yan. Number two. Is, number three is, do not commit to these stocks. Right? These are momentum trades and you should not commit to these stocks. Hindi mo sila hahawakan na matagal. If you see an opportunity to sell, kung gain na yan, you can sell half. Pwede mo na ibenta ang kalahati ka agad sa unang gains mo. Then let the other half ride para kung magkabusan man sa taas, ibenta mo na full. Right? Or even just let it ride. Kasi usually naman, nagre-recover ka agad yan. Especially in a bullish market. After mag-sell off yung ano, um, nagsusustain, yung, ano, nagsusustain yung trend. But on a bearish market, hindi. Look at B-Core. Diba? So yeah, that's the rule number two. Do not overcommit. Right? Let go of the stock right away once you're happy. Right? Labas ka na kaagad bago magkabuhusan dyan. Right? Those are the two important things you need to consider if you, you want to do this. Number three is, if you don't know how to momentum trade, wag na muna. Wag na wag kayo mafofomo. Let them celebrate kasi ang mga sumasabay dyan, pinaglalaruan ng mga magagaling na traders. Remember, these traders are very good. If you're gonna play their game, they're gonna win. Right? So if you're not good in trading yet, wag na muna. It's just good that you know about this already so that at least makapag-depend sa kayo. Um, R. Guevara, <laughs> parang si Bicorian from Dana Lucero, yes, uh, um, pakilakas ng volume ng konti. Sorry about that. Yan. So, yeah. Um, ayun. So, yes. Uh, so, that's jockey place. It's important that you know about this. It's important that you know that this can happen in PSEI. Right? So, konti ingat ng PSEI. That's why I I, I, I start, uh, that's why I just uh, decided to become a swing trader kay PSEI, position trader kay PSEI. Kasi, pag nakapasok ako sa baba, kahit palaruin ng mga jockeys yan, I don't care because nandun ako sa baba. If I, wanna, if I wanna sell half of my positions, I can anytime because if I'm happy with the gains, right? As, uh, that's th- that's one of your defense talaga, to be a position trader. Pumosisyon na kayo sa stocks habang maaga pa. Hindi yung habang, habang umaakit siya, dun kayo pumapasok. Right? So, yan. Uh, that is jockey place. That is how you defend yourself from it. Stay away from it if you're not good at trading. Because that's the game of the good traders, the big time traders. And if you're gonna play their game at maguhan ka palang, you're gonna lose, I tell you. Right? So, stay away from it if you don't know how to execute properly. Yan. So, yan. Um, that's the topic for today. We're gonna be talking about PSEI now. Time check is 8.56. Yan. Um, may, may question kanina. Um, paano maging student mo? Let me just double check my audio. That's... Yan. So, okay naman ang audio eh. Um, student. Becoming student. Uh, this October 14, guys, I'll be in Bacolod. Right? I'll be in Bacolod to hold the seminar live. Yan. So, I, I have a poster about that. Send me a message if you want to join that. Yan. So, mga traders natin dyan sa Bacolod or if you're a newbie, want to learn how to trade, send me a message right? so that you can join the workshop there. Um, October 20, and dyan ako sa Manila. There are still seats available. Konti na lang. So, yan. May poster also about dyan. Um, nasa page ko and then also in Financial Freedom, I mean, in Billionaires Club, and dyan yan. Uh, if you want to join the October 20 session, I mean, the live seminar, and dyan ako sa Manila, I'm going to be handling the seminar live. Uh, don't miss out on it. It's going to be a very good investment for you guys, I tell you. Right, number, uh, that's, ano, uh, those are the live workshops that I have. Wala muna kung other workshops. Ang last workshop ko na online seminar, uh, yung weekly na online seminar ko, last week pa ng October. So, I'm going to be sending... Uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, I'm gonna be posting something about that para doon sa mga hindi makaka-join sa mga personal seminars ko talaga. Right? So, last week of October, meron tayong 
online workshop ulit. Right? So if you prefer that, I'm going to be posting more about that in a while. Um, so yeah, that is for R. Guevara. Yun. So um, let's go to PSEI. Let's check out PSEI's, what they call this, PSEI's chart. Yeah, so this is PSEI right now. Somehow we are um reaching the lowest point na inabot natin before before we started a bullish run again. So yeah, um we are almost at that point and look at RSI. PSEI price is going down. But RSI is going up. Right? If you've been an avid follower dito sa Works, uh, sa, uh, what they call this, uh, live natin, uh, you know that I love RSI, I love playing with RSI, so this is a bullish pattern kay RSI, this is a divergence, um, yeah, so RSI is showing good, uh, good, uh, good bounds, I mean, good price action, bumabagal yung pagbagsak niya, look at the candlestick, it's very small, so that's a good sign, plus the RSI is right there, so anytime soon, we're gonna be seeing this stabilize, for me, and that's just my opinion, right, I think this is gonna be stabilizing, and then, before it gonna, it's gonna go up, so I, RSI, promising for me, so, what is our strategy, stay invested, but stay light, Stay invested, meaning you can invest in companies now, especially and uh, especially in blue chips, right? These are the best, uh, these are the best opportunities to buy more on your blue chips. Pero stay light lang. Wag malaki mo na ang ilalagay niyo. Remember, the trend is your friend, and the trend right now is not good. So hindi mo pa best friend yung stock na yan. Pag sideways yan, it's not yet your best friend. So hindi mo na mo mo na bibigyan ng malaking pera. Mamaya mo na bibigyan ng malaking pera ang kaibigan mo kung best friend mo na siya. And the trend is your best friend. If uptrend yan, best friend mo na yan. Right? So if it's still sideways, not yet time to put more in that stock, my friend. Right? So ganyan. That's our strategy. Stay light, not too much amounts. And if it's time to take profits, at least take half. Don't overcommit. Sayang yung panahon. If you can watch the market naman, di ba? Unless you're a long-term uh, investor talaga hindi makapanood ng market. So yeah, just hold it and then let it, let it, let it, ano, let it ride. Right, so so mga ipit, I have a video on um, past episodes natin. What to do uh, if you were not able to cut your losses, just check out um, uh, the playlist of the Daily Grind. and yung video. Tuturuan ko kayo dyan paano mag-recover sa stock na naipit kayo. Right? So, yun. Um, Tom Mussolini Fernand, thank you for teaching Jockey Place. You're welcome. Um, yun, sir. Now, ATN and ATG from STV Traders, DD, PHA, MRC, ABA, sir. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Una kong discuss are my long-term picks. Uh, first up is I want to advertise CPG. Alright, I'm inviting you to get in CPG. Napakaganda ng disclosure ni CPG. Alright, I want to share this to you. I want to discuss the disclosure of CPG. Because I've been recommending CPG for how many weeks now, diba? And habang mura pa. First up, let's check out PSG, uh, CPG's chart. Yeah, CPG, that's a very solid support. That's why I'm very confident in teaching this. I mean, in recommending this. Kasi nasa support areas pa naman siya. And look at the price action. And we have a support right here. And green na siya. MA20 is starting to look up. So that's a good sign, right? For me, that's a good sign. Um, stabilizing now, you can see that the Bollinger Band stabilizing. We can't, I can't really tell when is this gonna go up, but yeah, this company is doing good, right? We can check out other disclosures, yeah. But this disclosure went out October five, and um, it says that um, Century CPG through its leisure tourism and hospitality business unit has announced that it has pre-sold 342 vacation homes worth 2 billion in Batulao Artscapes. This is a very good project, right? 2 billion ang nabenta nila. That's a lot. And it's first residential tourism in Nasugbu, Batangas. It's a very good uh it's a very good project. Launched in December 2017, uh Batulao Artscape is set to offer approximately 2,000 homes within the first 36 hectares, first 36 hectares pa lang yan, of the 142 hectare development. Thank you, the Salonia, uh, the Salonia Java for subscribing. And this is just 36, right? Uh, 36 
for 142 so more or less sa seeds of me so this is just one quarter of the project and 2 billion na nanabenta nila right uh, mag-offer na naman sila uh, the yan so ang laki ang laki na project nito for CPG right so this is something you wanna look at hindi lang yan si CPG ang daming ang daming ano ang daming mga disclosures ni CPG lately na maganda that's why i'm strongly recommending CPG kasi and that, if you just check out the ano nila mga press releases releases nila ang daming projects nila maganda so the the fundamentals of the company is getting better and better and look at the price we are at its lowest when the mar when the company is doing its doing very good lately right so please check out cpg's ano please check out cpg's um fundamentals yung mga projects nila you'll see why i am very convicted in recommending this this is not for me um i've been recommending this, this for how many how, very a uh, very long time already yun nga lang this is a bagger pick so we can't really tell when this is going to go up especially in a bearish market so what but i think once the bullish market comes in i think this is going to do well right this is showing us good bullish signals already look at the uh, support and rsi starting to go up so yeah habang maaga pa it's not yet too late to get in cpg mag test buy na kayo again this is still on a sideways trend so hindi mo pa best friend yan test buy lang muna right and once it's on an up trend jan 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 magdagdag ng stocks right cpg um mga picks ko for today uh pha and pha maraming din nagtatanong about pha yes uh PHA. And so far, so good. Um, support is holding by as long as the support holds. This is a very good support for PHA. Right there. The fundamentals of PHA is doing pretty well also. Ayan, may mining sila na inopen. Um, I know there is mining scare nga lang. So, konti ingat lang muna dito. But for me, hindi naman pwede na i-shut down ang mining overall. Eh. There's, a, there's a news that says um, baka daw i-close ni President Duterte ang mining overall. That's not possible because mining is essential for industrialization. Paano mo um, paano mo i-ano? At uh, paano mo isusustain yung mga semento? Kailangan yun for metals. Ang limestone, PHA, yung mga companies na mining na ginawa nila is for limestone. Uh, the Philippines need metal and if you're gonna stop mining paano tayo magko-create ng metal diba so I don't think that's feasible if you stop ang mining so yun there was, there's that mining scare kaya natatakot ang mga tao but PHA's fundamentals are really getting better and better so napaka mura pa ngayon, ngayon ni PHA so I'm recommending PHA also um, next sa recommendations ko is uh, MRC MRC, yes, MRC. Kaso nga lang, nag-break na support si MRC. Yun ang problema. Right? Last Friday, nag, uh, hindi pala siya nag-break. It's there, it's there, still there at support. So, MRC is still okay for me. Let's, if you haven't gotten in MRC yet, antay nyo lang muna yung bounce before you really wanna get in MRC. Right? That's for MRC. Next is ABBA. Yan, ABBA. Tatlong doji na. That's a good support right there. Um, undecided ang mga tao, you can test out the support by as long as that support holds. I'm recommending ABBA because the fundamentals of the company are getting better. Napakalaki ng retained earnings nila. They have 3 billion in their pockets right now. And 3 billion is a lot, right? So I'm still recommending ABBA there. Or naman, si Or. Uh, may magandang news kay Or. Right? Hindi pa lang nila linalabas. But it's regarding their mining sector. Um... Hindi ko muna i-discuss, right? But yeah, uh, I want you to bodega muna kay Or. It's consolidating right now. So it's still consolidating. Just wait for the bounce before you wanna get in kay Or. Again, test buy lang muna. Huwag malaki ipapasok please, right? Just in case it breaks support at you need to cut loss. So, uh, sorry. So, and you need to cut loss. That, that way, hindi, hindi kayo mag-ano. That way, hindi kayo ma... What they call this? Hindi kayo may ipit na malaki. And you can cut loss properly. Right, may nagtanong about Fibonacci ni ano eh. Fibonacci ni, what do you call this? Ni Or? Di pa siya nag-reversal eh. Right, it's, it, it's at 0.23 so it's still uh, consolidating at this point. We can't say it's a reversal already kasi for it to be a reversal, you have to, what do you call this? You have to see the, ano, you have to see the, 
uh, what do you call this? Uh, f- the price go through, uh, get past 618 before you can say say it's a reversal. Right? So, yan. Um, may nagtanong kay Fib- Fibonacci kay Or. I can't really say for sure sa inyo because there are many perspectives kay Fibonacci. Um, you can look at it at a long-term perspective from here to here. Yan. So, 618, tumagot siya sa 618 on a longer term. Nag-reversal na siya. After this downtrend, this was the reversal and then bumalik lang siya. Right? It's really hard to tell if you're watching it on a longer perspective. Right? So, but on a shorter perspective, I'm not really sure ang gano, paano mo tinitignan ito. But on a short term perspective, yes, uh, it's still consolidating. I'm not seeing any reversal yet. So, buy as long as the support holds for or um, SSI, yan, good job sa mga pumasok kay SSI, we've been recommending SSI uh, for how many days now, and then at yung support this was a clear support, and people have already been winning, and nag-breakout siya actually, but I don't want you to get into SSI yet, as of the moment just wait for the retracement, because we're very near the resistance already, but then again congratulations sa mga pumasok uh, ito yung isa sa mga stocks natin na nanalo uh, lately with with the picks natin, especially sa bagger picks, right? So, it's now up 14% from the area where we wanted to buy it, right? So, SSI, good job sa mga pumasok. I'm still recommending SSI, but just wait for the retracement before you wanna get in. CLI naman, Bulan Masters, it's now consolidating. So, I am recommending CLI. Fundamentals of the company is getting better and better. This is uh, and daming projects na ng mga ganda si CLI. ISM. Right, so ISM, yes, I'm going to be adding ISM now. Right? Uh ISM has been uh aggressive in their ano um in their ano eh, it's not really ISM was aggressive, but you Dennis Oi is cooking something up. Right? There's a rumor that says uh, uh ISM as a holding company now they're gonna be uh, this is not verified news ha there's a rumor that says si ECP ang if a fund nila right so they're gonna be funding ECP ang rumor but yeah my theory is that they're gonna be funding one of these telcos na mga ngailangan ng pera who will need additional fundings to bid for the third telco so yeah ISM is in a very good position they have 4 billion in their pockets that's a lot laki ng pwedeng gawin na 4 billion right so ISM I'm still recommending ISM we're seeing two good bounces kay ISM uh, price action that's good but then again konti ingat lang this this can be considered as bottom fishing we can't see a reversal yet if we're gonna see a higher low that's a confirmed reversal if you're conservative if you're a conservative trader yes wait for the higher low before you wanna get in bottom picks try to use the price action that's already good for ISM. But then again, I'm recommending ISM for mid 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 to long term. Right? Nasa bagger picks ko yung mga yan. So yeah, buy more as long uh whenever buy more on the dips if you want to. Right? Bloom, right? Um, these are the position picks that I have right now. Bloom is showing us a higher low already. So that support is holding on. Right? Whenever if you wanna if you wanna wait for a confirmation and take na isang green maybe at the end of the day if pero if solid talaga yung green you just get in right that's for bloom it's up to you kung what your risk appetite is if you want to be aggressive and see a green within the day pwede kang pumasok it's up to you just cut loss below the support okay dd double dragon price action wise is showing us good signs right here so bottom pickers yes i'm i'm seeing good price action kay dd right so it's already good but if you're shaky, wag muna kayong pumasok, right? This is kind of shaky. Just wait for a green one before you really wanna get in kay DD. Uh, next up is Rockwell. Uh, Rockwell, may magandang disclosures lately si Rockwell. Eh. But right now, Rockwell is at a very good consolidation position. So, but I can't really tell nga lang kung aakit na siya. But this is, high, this is a confirmation of the support. And then it closed at a higher low right there. So Rockwell is good for me. Uh, buy as long as the support holds. Get in the support as much as you can. That's a very solid support right there. Look at that support area right there. So napaka-solid ng support na yan. Once, twice, 
three times, four times already. Ha? Napaka-raming bases na na hit and that's, that support is holding well. So, that's a good position right there. So, pwede nyo position na yan. AP also, right? AP is um, showing us uh, RSI is going up, right? Prices are still sideways, but RSI is going up. So, that's a good sign for um, AP. I'd say AP is already a good pos at a good position right now. I'd say AP is a buy already, right? But then, I can't be sure no one is sure in the stock market if ever it breaks support you can always cut your losses right always prepare your cut losses if you're trading dmw and so dmw um we have a higher low right now so we are uh we have a confirmation of a support right here on a friday diba? so we have a confirmation support so that's a buy for me already for dmw but in a yan right f gen yeah, so f gen my dividends on october 9 so that this might go up today right baka umakyat but then again kahit hindi naman dividends ang isipin mo the position is already good nagsa sideways na siya this is good for a good company right dividends plus rsi starting to go up so that's a good sign for fgen right so fgen for me pwede na positionan yan for today right baka nga mag up up yan today yeah. Phoenix Petroleum is doing sideways already right nagsa sideways na sa Phoenix but look at rsi the divergence prices are going down, but RSI has been going up right there. So this is a bullish sign for Phoenix. So I'm recommending Phoenix today. Pwede nang position na yan. It's 9.14. Medyo mahaba-haba pala yung discussion natin ngayon. Na. So yeah, bilisan ko lang ito guys. Ha. Phoenix Eagle. Si Eagle naman, one of the build, build, build companies, um, somehow is showing us confirmation of a support. So this is good for Eagle. Um, prices going sideways. But RSI is going up. So it, we're seeing bullish signals na kay Eagle. This is a confirmation of a support. Pwede na position na niyan si Eagle. Right? For Eagle. And next up is Meg. Right? May nagtatanong about Meg. Recommending Meg now. Price action wise, we have a higher low for Meg. So that's good. This is a good entry point for Meg. If you want to get in Meg. Right? Na, mura na yung presyo na yan. Look at that. So overall, still very cheap for Meg. Right? This is a good company right here. Ang ganda na mga projects ni Meg. Um, ATN, higher low for ATN. So yes, that's already the retracement we're looking for. So ATN is already good to get into sa mga position traders. But I'm recommending ATN as lo for long term, right? RLC, yeah, and we have a higher low for RLC. That's a very good position for RLC already. MBT, ito is sa maganda mga positions. Si MBT, yeah, si MBT even on the ano, um, ito yung sinasabi ko eh, uh, the percentage of the growth was already expected i mean sa growth of the what they call this of the inflation was kind of expected kaya hindi na shocking and dito la dan dati right now mbt is starting to form a support right here just confirm the support so pwede niyo positionan yan just ready your cut plus if ever it fails right so but yeah psei is start is giving us bullish signal so i think my pre bold prediction is that PSEI is gonna go up today. Uh, MBT, yun. Um, I'm gonna go now to your requests. Bilisan ko lang kasi um, malapit na oras. It's 9.16. Bilis ng oras lagi. Food just broke its support. So I don't want you to get in and be aggressive kay food muna. Right? I, I want you to wait for it to go back up the support before you really wanna get in kay food. Right? Stay out lang muna kay food. Kung ingat lang, IRC, but overall food is good, right? Just buy on the dips. That's one of the dip that we're looking for. Pag nag-bounce yan, pwede nyo pasukin yan si food. IRC, uh, yeah, IRC did go up last Friday. Good job sa mga pumasok, right? I can only imagine dito sa mga nag-cut loss dito ng mga tao. IRC is doing good lately, right? So, yeah, um, nasa resistance nga lang siya, so konti ingat lang muna. Again, I want you to buy the dips as much as possible, Wait for a base. This can be a base right here. Pwede nyo pasukin yan. Just go near to the support as much as you can for IRC. Next up for, for IRC is MPI. And MPI somehow is consolidating already. But overall, MPI is very cheap. I'm recommending MPI for long term. For swing traders, yeah, this is good price action right here. Just wait for the bounce before you want to get in. MPI. So, I'm going to go near my microphone, STI, kasi medyo masakit na lalamunan ko. Right, STI, um, I'm kind of shaky of this position. It's a doji right now. But overall, 
higher low naman siya. So, and then price action is going up. So, I guess this is a positive na, this is a positive signal for STI. Pag nag-green yan today, pwede nang pasukin yan si STI because this has been a good reversal for STI. Right? And this is the, the confirmation of the higher low. So, yeah, STI, I think it's gonna be good for today. Just kind of shaky, really, kasi sobrang lakas ng galaw niya. The past, ano, baka hindi pa tapos yung correction niya. Right? So, PLC, Still holding on to that support. So I'd say this is a good buy for PLC. That's a very solid support right there. Prices are at that area. Pero RSI is going up. So I'd say PLC is... That's a good position for PLC. Right. Pwede kayong position dyan. Just wait for the confirmation bounce. Next up si CLC. And CLC did go down again. Right. So nag-dip na naman si CLC. Sadly, bumaba si CLC. But RSI is already looking very well 16 ng RSI so anytime soon yung mga bottom pickers pwede nyo pwede nyo pasukin nyo if you see a bullish bounce right now especially that naglabas na new CLC na nag invest na naman sila ng 100 million for ano for for ships right so CLC uh, again long term ang projection natin kay CLC right hindi nyo pa makikita sa books nila yan makikita nyo dyan is negative kasi nag invest nang nang invest na sila right these are the birth pains of um, I guess hindi to makikita ng mga karamihan ng mga tao right kasi ang problema kasi sa mga karamihan ng mga tao instant gratification even right now the government ang dami nagbabash sa government na uh, ba ba bakit pangit ang inflation actually it's for me yeah, this is my opinion um, nothing, no disrespect to others you have you may have your own opinion but yeah uh, i've been a businessman i've i've shared my i have my fair share of planting seeds talaga the birth pains of a good uh, of a good of a good ano of a good investment right lalabas na lalabas ng pera talaga yan, tulad ni CLC right negative ang makikita niyo diyan but these are for long term projections right si ang government natin ngayon negative and inflation kasi grabe ang uh, grabe ang gastos ng government for developments but once um mahinog na itong um, lumaki na itong uh, tinanim na seed ni CLC ng government and that's going to be very good right it's going to give us dividends right so yeah uh, i'd say CLC is still a good buy just wait really for a good bounce. Long term ito si CLC. Eh. I would say CLC is really for long term. And dami lang magandang mga investments ngayon. So that's for CLC. SMPH. SMPH starting to show us a good support right here. We have a confirmation of that bounce. So I'd say you can buy this already for SMPH. Right? Um, just if papasok pa lang kayo, test buy lang, wag mo nang malaki ng pera, right? Wag mo nang mag-all in for SMPH. Especially that the market is still sh very shaky. AP, yeah, I'm recommending AP. And dyan naman yan sa lista ko, na-discuss natin yan kanina. Ali, and si Ali, also with the market starting to recover, maybe Ali is gonna recover also. But right now, I wanna see one more confirmation kay Ali before I really wanna recommend it. Uh, really wanna recommend getting into Ali. Si Nao naman, Yon, see now. Right, it's confirming a support right here. So this is a good for now. Right? If may makita in green, that's your entry point right there. It's at 7.22. But careful lang guys, because we're still working against a downtrend. But I guess this is a good support right here and we have a higher support right here. So I think this is a good bet right now for now. So buy as long as that support holds for now if you want to get in now. ISM, we talked about ISM already. Say si Mega World naman. Yes, oh, we talked about Mega World already. Um, it's in one of my picks for today. XRP. And si XRP, let me just open my Etoro chart. Sorry about this. Sorry about the silence. Uh, XRP. Tingnan natin yung chart ni XRP. Kasi si XRP, kumaganda eh. Right, so this is XRP right now. Um, yeah, it's showing a higher low right here. So this is a good buy for XRP. 
right? Um, uptrend na si XRP. Swerte nung mga nakapasok dito sa baba. XRP has, very, has been very aggressive in their ano, um, crypto ngayon. Si Alibaba rin has something good uh, coming up uh, dahil sa crypto nila, sa crypto industry nila. Um, crypto is starting to look good again. Right, so I'm I'm starting to invest in crypto already. So XRP, yes, um, chart chart ni XRP is looking good. So nagtanong, I forgot who. Um, ABS, one of the undervalued stocks right now. Uh, ABS, yeah, it's showing us an uptrend right here. So buy as long as the support holds for ABS. Um, I think it's gonna go sideways because of the Bollinger Band. So I guess this is this will become our support. I just need more price action, more data to really know where, where our entry is for ABS. But overall, it's already on an uptrend. It's showing us higher lows already for ABS. So yeah, buy as long as that support holds. Let it make a support before you really wanna get in. ABS CEI. Yeah, and so CEI. Yeah, and so CEI. This is a support for CEI. I don't want you to be very aggressive. If you want to get in CEI, use this support. This is a good support already for CEI, right? Um, buy as long as the support holds. Get in the so near the support as much as you can for CEI. Fundamentals of CEI are doing are looking good also. In si Popi, bumaba na naman si Popi, yeah, right? So right now, I don't I don't recommend buying Popi yet. I really want to see more price action before you want you before you get in kay Popi right wag muna kay Popi as of the moment um kasi pababa pa yung price action niya but it's reaching good RSI levels so yeah um look at Popi's earnings for second quarter this is something very good right so um we're looking at I'm looking at Popi actually andyan ako kay Popi right I just sold on my position here um meron akong konting hawak ngayon I'm just waiting for an avenue to buy more kay Popi right so Popi Yon. Next up kay Poopy sa request. Oh, it's 924. Last lang muna ito, guys, ha. Si Vita. Ayun, si Vita. Ayun, si Vita starting to show support but uh, I don't I really don't like this as of the moment. So don't be aggressive kay Vita lang muna baka bumagsak pa. So stay away lang muna for Vita. Right? So guys, it's 925. I'm really sorry if hindi ko masagot na lahat ng questions, but then again, you can always send me a message. I'll do my best to send you, uh, to answer you. So, mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, please subscribe to my channel. October 14, I'll be in Bacolod. October 20 in Manila. Just send me a message if you want to enroll. Okay? Um, enjoy your Monday. I, I'm, I have positive vibes sky PSEI right now. Hopefully, it does. Right? So, yeah, hopefully, it's, it's a good Monday for us. We're hoping for the best. I'll see you tomorrow. I look for a topic again. If you have a topic in mind na gusto mo i-discuss, just send me a message so baka consider ko yung topic para ma-discuss natin bukas. As always, let's get rich together. Enjoy your Monday. Bye-bye.